Hello, it's Peter Cam's man, and have you seen the work going on in Dawlish? Over the past few weeks, I've been out filming the progress of Southwest Water's major works here in Dawlish. It's a joint venture between Network Plus and Involve, and with help with the team on site, I can give you an update on exactly what's happening here on the lawn and at Sandy Lane. We're here in lovely Dawlish today to help improve bathing water quality as part of our £760 million investment called Turning the Tide programme. We're building several underground storage tanks to hold millions of litres of storm water during heavy rain to prevent our storm overflows from spilling when our treatment works are at capacity. We're also carrying out surface water separation works in several areas. This will keep rainwater out of the combined sewer, helping to reduce volume and make storm overflows less likely to be needed. This means cleaner rivers, a healthier coastline and a more resilient wastewater network for Dawlish. The project started with preparing the ground. The topsoil of the lawn was stripped away and replaced with a recycled stone base known as 6F5. This provides a stable foundation for the heavy equipment including huge crane, excavators and lorries. For most of the site, the depth is around 600 millimetres, except where the crane is located, which is 950 millimetres deep to deal with additional weight and lifting. Drilling rigs are then brought in to drill small wells. These well points have been drilled around the site, reaching 20 metres deep. They relieve the pressure and allow water beneath the ground to be pumped away, keeping the excavation safe and dry. Engineers then install sheet piles, long steel walls driven 7 metres into the ground. These sheet piles hold back the soil, creating a safe working area when they dig. They then start on the collar. Think of it like a giant concrete polo mint. This collar is crucial because it holds the circular shaft in place as the team digs deeper. To get the shaft moving downwards, they use several key parts. A cutting ring at the bottom, which slices into the ground. A choker ring, slightly thicker to give strength at the base. and then standard concrete rings stacked above. As they dig the shaft, the weight of the structure helps it slowly sink into the ground, a process similar to how wells were built centuries ago, but on a much larger and more engineered scale. Once the collar and rings are in place, the team will install reinforcement, pour a large amount of concrete and fit pipe sleeves ready for future connections. Over time, the shaft will reach a depth of around 15 and a half metres. All the while, the large crawler crane is lifting in concrete segments, heavy machinery, and even the excavators themselves as the depth increases. To get the engineers in and out of the deeper hole, they need to use man riding cages. These cages are attached to the crane and allow the workers to safely get in and out of the dig area as it gets deeper. The most common questions we are asked is, why don't they sort out the brook while they're here? Well, I'm off to meet Councillor Scott Williams, who will tell us more about the brook. Hi, 
I am with Councillor Scott Williams, who is also from WADE. Um, so what is WADE, Scott? Uh, WADE stands for Waterways Around the Dawlish Environment, and we basically look after the brook as much as we can. So the problems at the time we were encountering was we had very low water, and we had um, a large bank that had developed on uh, of sediment on Bay 3. So uh, there was a campaign at the time to be able to get the river dredged. Unfortunately, um, legislation changed in 2016, which makes dredging rivers much, much more complicated. Yeah, uh, and that's one of the main questions we're asked all the time is, what, you know, Southwest Water here, why don't they just do it? I think, well, it is actually quite healthy. Um, so in terms of, uh, aesthetic, I suppose. It, it, having a deeper trench would be nice to look at if it's got no island banking in it. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily help the uh, preachers, denizens that live there, really. Well, absolutely. And also, Southwest Water are here to do a job on the lawn, which is entirely separate to the brook, isn't it? I mean, yes. you know, it's, it's, it, they can't just bring their diggers over in the spare time and dig through the brook because then they get into a whole lot of trouble. No, and no. then, um, yeah, there would, there would be even more problems. So, so in fact, I, I mean, I've learned along the way, there's, there's various things like the EA only give you permits every 20 metres or so. Right, so in fact, this bank here that we were working on was a bit over 20 metres and we had to rein it in a bit because we'd gone further than our uh, allocation. Right, so, so th this looks more like gravel than sediment, which... Um, it is, yes. Right? And it, is, it is gravel, and in fact, um, I was talking to West Country Rivers Trust the other day, and I was calling it sediment, and they were a bit um, confused, or that I led them slightly astray on what they thought was our um, issue. And in fact, having sediment in a river is really good for trout spawning, and because you can see lots of fish as well. There certainly, are lots of fish. Yeah. yeah, we've had three lots of uh, spawning season already. Um, we're just about to head on the first of October into the official spawning season at which time you're not really supposed to work in the river. Okay. Um, people are asked to keep out of it because, obviously, trout. Yes, I mean, and we also have lots of problem with fishing, which is an absolute no-go in Dawlish. Please don't fish here, because um, our, our wild waterfowl and black swans, they end up getting caught with the fishing lines, and you've literally got to see two-minute walk there where you can fish, so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so one of the things that was quite interesting when talking to West Country Rivers Trust is the fact that our brown trout numbers are increasing in a river where traditionally around the southwest they've actually found, particularly in South Devon, numbers are dwindling to some extent. Amazing. So in theory, the gravel that is an eyesore is actually a lot better for the wildlife and the fish. During the works, every stage is carefully planned for safety with man riding cages and rescue systems ready to keep everyone safe. The work is intensive, with hundreds of lorry movements taking away the soil, up to 600 loads in total, and concrete materials constantly arriving. But the coordination between the teams has been excellent and they're pushing ahead on schedule. Eventually, once the shaft reaches full depth, it will be finished with a reinforced base, a central column, and a heavy cover slab built off site. This will form part of Southwest Water's improved infrastructure for Dawlish, helping secure essential services for decades to come. So, over the coming weeks, expect to see some big changes new sections arriving, concrete pours and the shaft sinking further down. It's a fascinating process, and I'll be keeping you updated as the project moves forward. Thanks for watching.